Hey y'all here, OS Reviews. Today we're taking a quick look at the Anchor Soundcore VRP10. As the name implies, these are a pair of TWS True Wireless Buds that are geared more towards gaming because they feature ultra low latency. It has a dedicated transmitter which you can plug into gaming consoles, PCs, laptops, and it will transmit to the headphones in under 30 milliseconds. That is compared to around 90 milliseconds if it's using regular Bluetooth. And low latency really is the entire focus of this particular model, which sells for a little under 100 bucks. So it doesn't come with active noise cancellation or audio transparency mode, for instance. It does have customizable RGB colors on the front here in the form of these LED lights that you can change the shade using the companion app. And they pack 11 millimeter drivers which are a little bit larger than average. Again, you can even use these with, let's say, VR headsets. So here is the design of the VR 10s themselves. Packaging contents include a quick user guide, Type-C cable for charging, and three sets of silicon tips to get a more snug fit. But what's cool is the door actually opens from the front like this, flipping backwards. That reminds you of something like almost a Pokemon egg with those rounded corners. So the aesthetics, I have to say, are very distinctive. In fact, they might be one of the most striking things I've seen from Soundcore yet. And this entire motion can still be opened with one hand just by using it like that. So it still feels comfortable. There's a light ring on the front that looks really cool and also uses colors to tell you the battery percentage at a glance. Just a simple pairing key at the bottom and then just a Type-C port on the back for charging. This model does not support Qi wireless charging, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Some of their recent offerings, including the Liberty 4s as well as the Space A40s, you can tell side by side, they're just a pinch wider because of that door, uh, which, like I said, also accommodates the aforementioned dongle when not being used inside, which is quite clever. It still is a pretty compact build, as you can tell. A closer look here at the design of the buds, which are magnetically held into place. Uh, they continue that quite clean design with a touch sensor at the top, which you can use to change properties like skip track, play pause, and in the app, you can also remap this to act as volume controls. It's pretty sensitive and easy to use. Now, on the other side, we have a pretty traditional shape to them, nothing unusual going on, although the grills here, again, are made out of metal, and it's quite comfortable when wearing them for a couple of hours. I didn't really notice any stress or strain. And that dongle also attaches magnetically onto the back, and this is what it looks like when you pop it out. Uh, we have access to just a very clean design that you just plug into the Type-C port of any console, any PC, and it will support the audio transmission to the buds. It also has another Type-C port on the other end, which allows pass-through charging, but only for smaller devices like VR glasses and consoles. If you're trying to charge a laptop that requires more power input, it's probably not the best idea to use that. The Soundcore app remains familiar if we've seen their other products, but you have the ability to take a look at the battery percentage remaining on the buds and also customize the aforementioned RGB LED lights at the front of the buds. So again, right now they are in this kind of purplish shade, but I can also change them to red, as you can see there, a more dramatic purple, also blue, especially in darker environments. It definitely adds a playful touch that you don't get on other regular pairs of wireless buds, which are not really gaming centric. So that's quite fun. You can also go into a breathing mode if you want it to slowly strobe and flash gently in the darkness, as you can see there. Or if you're in the power saving mode, you are able to turn that light completely off and prolong the playback time by about an hour or so. Which, by the way, they are able to get around six hours of continuous music playback when you're using either the dongle or Bluetooth. The case will provide a few extra top-ups, getting you a combined total of 24 hours when on the road, which is around average, but again, not bad for what it is. You also get controls for the aforementioned headphones, such as what a sing single tap, double tap, or hold for two seconds will trigger. And there is also equalizer commands that you can play around with. Soundcore signature is already quite good, but you can further boost the bass or choose one of the other genre types, including podcasts, acoustic, hip hop, jazz, if you want to listen to other type of music or content. And it does make a nice difference uh, that overall is well tuned. Although you don't get necessarily a personalized hearing EQ mode, like on some of their flagship audio-centric buds, but it's still overall giving you plenty of customization that's easy to use. You can even go opt for a custom mode where you can tweak the 
uh, EQ properties yourself manually using the slider here. Additional commands at the bottom here include game and talk. That means if you have a phone call incoming, it will switch automatically to the call if you are paired with both your phone and a pair of VR glasses, for instance. You can also turn on and off the microphone manually as well as turn on super hearing, which is not really a transparency audio mode, but rather it's just optimized for the microphones to pick up your voice a little bit better uh, when you are gaming and talking to someone else. Now, last but not least, I think one other cool feature here is they have something called weak Wi-Fi mode, and that means it will try to purposefully reduce the dongle's strength in order to reduce interference with Wi-Fi signals. So that is pretty neat. Uh, however, it will also mean that the connectivity range will be slightly diminished, but as long as you're nearby to your console and your hands, it shouldn't really make too much of a difference anyways. So it's a pretty thoughtful extra mode. And now here's a demo of the dongle plugged into a device using Type-C, Nintendo Switch, PlayStations can all be supported, although notably the Xbox is currently not supported using this dongle mode. Now here you can see how the connection is almost instantaneous. Once you plug it in, it will just be paired. You can see the lights here start to correspond accordingly to this shade. And you can hear the sound is coming out from the headphones really without any problems. And the low latency mode here comes into full play, where I can skip between any part of the video. And you can tell how there is almost no lag at all it's compared to regular Bluetooth headphones. As many of you guys will know, it will often have a split second delay before you start playing and then the sound coming through, even on the best gaming centric headphones. But on these, it's almost completely eliminated. And again, that auto switching between multiple devices also comes into full play. So I can be listening to sound here from the game, but at the same time, I'm going to tap on play on my phone here. And you can hear how the sound has now automatically switched into the music mode there. So depending on the last device that you're playing music from, it will switch back and forth between the phone and your dongle automatically. It's a pretty seamless process. As far as the audio quality itself is concerned, I would say it's also been quite impressive. You get a touch of bass, which is pleasant, but never overpowering. Great for drum beats and also action sounds and games. Uh, at the same time, mids and trebles still sounded clear enough for both music and gameplay alike. I thought it was quite immersive and well-balanced. They may not be high-res audio certified or get you, let's say, as much detail as the most premium audiophile-centric headphones, which have LDAC or Aptex. But again, that's kind of the opposite of what these are trying to do, which is to get you as low latency as possible while preserving still pretty rich and full sound without too much distortion and still packing in a lot of volume. All in all, I would say that the Soundcore VR P10s, they have exceeded my expectations in terms of that low latency not being just a branding term, but truly something that is one of the best I've seen out of wireless headphones to date. And the overall custom dongle also is surprisingly easy to connect with, uh, almost seamless in how it functions. You can check out more details if interested in links down below. For now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.